the casualty reports from the Astara Triangle, Lord Commissar. Ugh, what a fetching waste. Fourteen knights lost. Ten of them in this glorious last hunt of theirs. They wanted history to remember them. If this war goes poorly, <laughs> they'll be remembered as the fools who threw away more than a dozen knights because they felt like a bit of sport. <sighs> what of the other strong points around Molek? The Neropian Bastion has been overrun. Remnants of the combined force of knights, guardsmen, and lamenters are making a fighting retreat, trying to reach the ancient fortress of Dawn Citadel. The Arcanius kill zone was largely ignored. We had hoped that the Tyranids would commit their largest numbers to that bio-rich rainforest. But what they sent was little more than a diversionary force. We're trying to redeploy them as quickly as possible. The Molokari bulwarks were where the hammer blow fell. Numerous mycetic spores made planetfall along the island chain in the northern oceans to isolate the continent. The rest landed in and among the bulwarks. The bulk of the High Fleet landed there, and there was little hope for the defenders, though I am told they met their fates bravely. Aside from a few who were able to be evacuated using Lamenta Thunderhawks, the force was a near total loss. Two full night houses, nearly a full company of Lamenters, and thirty-two guard regiments lost. The only good news is that the bulwarks were all able to detonate their incendiary bombs once the Xenos had breached the defenses, denying them much of the biomass they sought to absorb. <sighs> well, the lines are drawn. Now the real war begins. Lord Commissar Maccabee sighed as he handed a stack of orders to be issued to the junior commissar and began to puff on his low-leaf tube. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Come in. Commissar Fletcher entered Maccabee's office. Ah, Commissar Fletcher. I understand there was some confusion about your orders. Well, sir, I, I think there must be some kind of mistake. The orders I received were for the 25th Chimera Auxilia. Uh, I I'm assigned to the Cadian 1508. Yes, you've been reassigned. Uh, to Gallus's old unit? Yes. The Commissariat feels that your talents would be better utilized if you were to take command of the 25th. But, sir, I... Cadians don't need you, Fletcher. They're one of the most decorated and disciplined units in the entire Defense Force. You were assigned to them because Colonel Parker died in the Malthus campaign. You were chosen to act as interim commander. And with the promotion of Captain Metellus for the initiative he showed in repelling the Xenos borders from the venerable Knight Mackay, you are now free to be put where we need you most. But I, I've, I've never worked with Okrins. I will do as you're ordered in the name of the Emperor. Fletcher, you have a talent for getting the most out of traditionally poor soldiers. You were always ambitious, and you jumped at the opportunity for your first command, though many would not have chosen it. What you did with the Carpasan 75th Penal Regiment in the reclamation of Magnus Fundus was quite impressive. I... Uh, uh, thank you, sir. I expect similar results with the Chimera and Ogrins. Dismissed. Og was digging a trench with the other Ogrin under the supervision of Bonehead Biff. This was the best part of being redeployed. Every night the Ogrin got to dig trenches when the army set up camp. The worst part of being on the move was having to cram into chimeras for hours at a time. That was scary. Og wasn't sure what was wrong, because he, he didn't feel happy digging his trench. He missed Gallus. He was happy he was visiting the Emperor, but he also wanted him to come back soon. Uh, hey, Biff. Yeah, Og. Uh, when is Gallus coming back from the Emperor's house? Uh, you, you don't come back from the Emperor's house. Huh? How come? That's just the way it is. You fight, and when you can't fight no more, and you did your best, then you can go to the Emperor's house. I think it's real nice. That's probably why no one comes back. Huh? That makes sense. 
your... Og felt a little better. We should all fight and do the best we can, so that then we can all go to the Emperor's house, and we can see Gallus again. Fletcher took a deep breath as he watched his charges work. He was going to have some big shoes to fill.